All right, welcome everybody, and we are trying something new today, uh, something that I have run past a few people that, you know, are listeners and friends and things like that, and uh, it is reacting to and or dissecting, more or less dissecting, I guess, but reacting, dissecting to uh, gunfights on from movies and even... Um, um, failed training videos, right? Uh, or failed shooting videos, things like that. Uh, video fails, bad advice that we might find on YouTube, any, any of the above, right? Um, and this is an attempt to continue to bring you content while maybe teaching you something, maybe, you know, pointing something out to you, uh, that you may not have known before, or may be able to use in the future. Uh, and to be able to, again, bring you content without breaking the bank on gear or, um, ammo because ammo is really hard to find right now. As you guys know, I recently lost my job. So <sighs> this is all I got, you know, this is, this is what I got going for me. So hitting YouTube hard. And if you guys don't like this, if you think it's an overdone thing, if you think, um, it needs to be changed, uh, or whatever, please let me know. Um, I would love to hear some constructive criticism about this. It's the first time I've ever tried to do something like this. So yeah. <sighs> Very first one coming up here is triple frontier, uh, movie with Charlie Hunnan, Hunnan, Hunnaman. Hun I don't know what his last name is from sons of anarchy and, uh, Ben Affleck. I think there's a couple other people in it. I don't know. So this is supposed to be the gunfight scene in a cartel leader's house or the cartel leader's house or the cartel's house, whatever. But, um, it's like three minutes long. So let's check it out. It's big blood. He's dead. What are we shooting at in here? A dead guy. So let's start. Let's let let's 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 um start from the beginning here. It's Mick Blood. So I don't know how he didn't get hit, but uh, no. If you one of the first things I saw was uh, this is I don't know who this is, but. His reaction, his reaction was the best of all of theirs, I do believe. Bang, bang, bang. What are we shooting at in here? Dead people. That was an attempt at a... Is that Loretta? Like an administrative reload. Is that... He's, what are we shooting at in here? He's way too cool for that reload. Is that Loretta? He's dead. Good. Oh, very good. Oh, so they actually had people help them with this movie. So, this guy here, he was coming, he was already facing this direction, right? By the time he got to that landing. That was, that's good stuff. Um, and then, of course, cleared this area out here. And turn his attention directly down onto this doorway and this area down here. They definitely had help with this movie. Good. Get him. Get him. Get him. Good. That's two down in the front hall. Good. Oh, good. Very good again. So he took and pulled security on this door, which is correct. Um, because he had already had security. He had already secured this, this area. He had already contacted and engaged people in this area. So he needed to pull security on this door. Whether they needed to op uh, enter that room or not would have been decided on the, on, on the fly. But he let him know, I'm clear. I'm ready to move. Did it with that hand touch, right? Good stuff. That's three. Good cross. Oh, so that was a pretty good cross. 
So I'd have liked to seen him have his muzzle up, like before he crossed that threshold. Him having his muzzle down right now is is good. Uh, yeah, I'd have liked to seen him have his muzzle up as he crossed that threshold into that uh, into that room, though. And he, now that he's passed, he should already have his muzzle at least on like a 10 degree, you know, not quite maybe all the way up, but uh, ready to rock and roll, looking above his optic. Oh, and then he backs it up. Well, let's, let's finish this. That's four. So then he backs it up, which is good, better than the, that open doorway. He walks down this side of the hallway because as he came into this hallway, he saw this is a corner here, which he doesn't need to clear. He's already, by the time he was way, way back here and he had already cleared this corner. Uh, as he got closer, of course, a guy came out of this way, engaged him. But this also from this side gives him a vantage point of this doorway or window. It looks like a doorway of this, of this doorway and more of the room over here, however big that may be. And if he starts getting engaged or overwhelmed, he can always transition to this side, make a retreat or take cover on this side, whatever. So, um, he's, uh, he's doing good there. Get back to the case. I'm sure There's they that touch a few again. guys out there. There's that touch More. again. Let, let you know I'm clear and ready to move. Trans transition to pistol, small room. So he apparently murdered somebody right there. Let's go back, though, to when he walked in the room. So people that don't know what they're doing have this romanticized vision of, like, this action hero bursting through every doorway, and that's not how it goes at all. Um, On the way. In fact, coming into a room and figuring out that it was too small for your rifle and transitioning to a pistol is not uncommon at all. Um, it's hard to move around in small rooms with a rifle, and it only took him a few steps to get through here. Of course, he's killing people on the floor. That's like four or five steps there, and he's already through a room. He either doesn't care, or they forgot this part of school. Because... He's looking at the door. I, I stopped it at a really good point in time. He's actually looking at that doorway right now. And he should have approached that doorway with some sort of a muzzle up. Something ready to rock and roll. Not hands down on his side. Because he has no idea what's in this side of the room. He may be able to have seen over here. But he doesn't know what's over here. And there's a whole room to his left. But it's Hollywood. Ooh, time for a barbecue. Good, took the wrong knee, but good, good reaction. Just in case. Good movement. Walking with that rifle really well. No bounce, looking over his front sight like he should. That's good. Anybody got eyes on that SUV the guards came in? Because we're going to need it. I'm already loading it up. Are you loading it up? Is everybody out there? Scope's clear. All clear. He has time to light a cigarette. Good. Another band of guys just passed me in the driveway. Oh, dude. So, oh, that was that. That's the kind of shit that'll get you killed. So, he came through that door, did not clear this way, which you would want to initially clear. in order to walk around a door, a giant wooden door, to clear this side. And what we find out in a couple seconds, he has left him, the, his backside not only exposed, exposed to an open corner, but a van of bad guys coming. 
Like, he spent way too much time worrying about that and went the wrong way to begin with. Again, Hollywood and in the heat of a gunfight, things change on the fly. I, I mean, I, but just so you know, when you're looking at something like this, yeah, he probably should have cleared to his left first. Because that whole opening was right there at his back. Full of bad guys. Coppers coming around with the van. Big Mac flip. What are you doing? Come Got on, it. let's go. Tough guy, walk. That's, I'm tired of this shit, walk. Ooh, Hollywood blow, ho, ho, Hollywood uh, explosion behind him without him even flinching. Fantastic. All right, guys, so there is my dissection and reaction to Triple Frontier House Attack shootout scene. I will leave the link uh, for this video down in the description below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something you would like to continue to see uh, or something changed. Uh, this may be the one and only of these that I do. So who knows? But I appreciate everybody for hanging out, and we will talk to you later.